The views expressed in the following video are that it robs and only robs. In fact, Legal is not all a fan of his work, continually amazed at the man draws a paycheck. You are advised not to enjoy this episode of Rob Unscripted. No, I'm just kidding. They love what I do. So I'm on the web the other day, searching around, and uh, so SolidWorks has this thing going on. Uh, Jeremy's got this cool deal called Let's Go Design. It's an interactive web series um, where they use the you know uh, 3D modeling application SolidWorks, uh, if you're unfamiliar with it, um, to model up some stuff. But what I was confused about was he went into PhotoWorks to do some photorealistic renderings. and um, So I wanted to see what I could do in Inventor, and on his website here, he's got a nice little download the project file. So I'm gonna download the SolidWorks files, and uh, bring them into Inventor and um, play around with it. So I'll go ahead and save these off in my sort of works directory and open them up right inside of Inventor. And I, you know, there's no translation that needs to occur here. You can just open up the native SOLIDWORKS files right inside of Inventor. And, you know, you'll see right here um, how, it, uh, how it treats it. So it just kind of um, uh, imports them in and now I can work with them just as though uh, their inventor files from from uh, from the visualization standpoint. So there it is, and uh, you know, brought in the materials, all the all the components come across, and all that. And now I want to go ahead and, uh, as a designer, you know, it's important for me to make sure that in my design application that I can apply uh, material, uh, maybe some bump maps, um, adjust some lighting, maybe even put it inside of an environment so that I can see the effects of lighting and material choice in my design in the early phases of this um, so I can make the right decision up front, right? I don't want to be making changes down the road um, in some other application and then have to go back into my design application to make those changes. So let's just go ahead and make a color change here. I want this to, to maybe look like leather and you know beige, yeah it looks like leather but it really doesn't look like leather. <laughs> so let's go into our unified Autodesk material library. This is the same material library that you're gonna have in AutoCAD uh, in Revit, in uh, 3ds Max, right? So I'm going to go ahead and grab leather. Who wouldn't want leather in their ultimate CAD chair? I know I certainly do. Um, so let's go ahead and apply leather to that. Now I've uh, I've I've added some 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 more materials to this. Um, you know, kind of advance the design a little bit. And so let's go ahead and turn on some shadowing. Again, I'm I'm using my design tool Inventor for uh, visualization purposes here, so I can see the effects of shadows. Uh, my material selection, the effect of those materials uh, when 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 they, when they uh, uh, of light on those materials, if you will. So let's go ahead and bring uh, put it into an environment. Now these environments also contain different lighting settings, so you can see the light coming in through the window and the effect of that. Let's go ahead and bring in a monitor as well. Um, so I brought in uh, an inventor part that that's the monitor showing off uh, inventor, and, and as I rotate around, you can see that. You know, I'm getting some glare on this LCD screen. So again, as a designer, it's important for me to know these things in my design application, so I can make the appropriate thing. So if I wanted to create a shroud around this, that might make some sense. So uh, anyway, we'll see you guys next time. <laughs> All right. Bring this into an empty desert. Where is everybody? Where did everybody go? Arby's, roast beef sale loved that commercial it was so funny bring it into a plain room yeah that's boring right, bring it in with the two lights what else I got here for visual styles ah, black and white well, black and white see um, hey this is cool a little visual style they still have ambient shadows turned on even though it's in wireframe that's pretty hot uh, illustration I'll spare you the aha joke You've heard it a hundred times from me already. It doesn't really get old for me. Alright, I'm leaving.